Here we have a Razer laptop, model number RZ09, that came in for repair. Let's read what the customer wrote. The laptop monitor doesn't show anything. Laptop comes on, but monitor shows nothing. The customer means the screen, the LCD on the laptop is not coming on. That's what he means by monitor. Now, Big Boss went over this laptop before he gave it to me, and he said that he plugged in an external monitor onto the laptop, and he was able to see an image. That means the laptop is good. And as an initial inspection, he went over the board, and he pointed me to an area right next to the LVDS connector, right here. He said, look at this area, I see something. So let's go under the microscope, take a look at this area and see what's going on. And Big Boss also got me a donor, similar donor laptop that we can get parts from. That's what I love about Big Boss. He sets everything up for me so I can do the job as fast as possible. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Look at this. We got it, look at this. The screen connector is right here. Screen is already disconnected. And we see something burned right here. Possibly this three-legged chip. We see a burn mark right here. So the question is, how did that chip blow or go bad? Very good question. Probably a user fault. The user may have opened up the laptop to repaste the CPU, the GPU, upgrade the M.2 drive, or possibly upgrade the RAM. And I do see two new sticks of RAM here. And he did all that without disconnecting the battery first. If you do not disconnect the battery first, you're going to have issues, especially when working on iPads, iPhones, if you do not disconnect the battery first, you're going to have issues with backlight, you're going to have issues with the display circuit, whatever the case may be. We see it a lot, and I have a lot of videos talking about this. So let's go ahead and replace the chip. All right, so now that we remove the chip, what I want to do before we solder a replacement, I just want to quickly measure for a short circuit around here looks like we have a ground here no reading here oh well and we have a normal diode reading 0 0.316 measure this cap measure this cap look at this we have a short circuit here so if we would have replaced that chip without checking for a short circuit, that chip would have blown again. Where is that short coming from? Let's go to our thermal camera and we're going to inject voltage at the cap. When I inject voltage at the cap, we are seeing a heat spot right at the cap. Let's try again. So that's cap number one, right here. And that's cap, and that's cap number two. You see how when I point the probe at cap number two, cap number one is getting hot. So cap number one, it's getting hot. If I point at cap number two, still cap number one is getting hot. So we know the problem is cap number one. We got it. So before we replace that chip, the blown one we're gonna have to remove cap number one that's one thing you always want to do when you see a blown component you want to check for a short before you replace that component because if you replace the component and you have short circuit then that component will blow again we're gonna remove this one here this guy and we're gonna check for a short again I'm almost 101% sure 
that that was the problem based on the thermal camera. You see? 0 0.79. We do not have a short anymore. Ground here and 0 0.79. Now we can safely replace this cap. And this guy is probably 5 microfarads or 10 microfarads. We can use our LCR meter to measure and see. Let's go ahead and do it. I do not even need to measure it because I have a donor board that we can get the cap from. But just for the sake of this video, let's do it. Ten microfarads. Beautiful. It showed like 8.9, 9.2. So that's 100% a 10 microfarad capacitor. I knew it, either a 5 or 10. Now, the next time we work on this laptop with the same issue, I'll automatically know that we have a 10 microfarad capacitor because viewers, up till this date, they ask me, how do you know the value of the capacitor? How do you know the value of the capacitor? How do you know the value of the capacitor? Never ending. And I always mention it. Prior repair experience, I've worked on that similar laptop before or similar device before. I measured and I know that that cap is 10 microfarads. So I do have a donor laptop right here, and we're going to use it to extract the cap. The cap is big and the board is thick, so we can use the help of hot air station. Very nice. Beautiful. Anti-glare light. We can see everything now. And now we're gonna grab the chip from the donor board. And for the donor board, we can have the ring light on because we do not have any flux that would create reflections or glare. Done. We are done. Let's clean up. And hopefully we have a working screen. We do not have a short circuit anymore. We're going to connect the LVDS cable. Then we're going to connect the battery. You do not connect the battery first and then the LVDS cable. Otherwise, you have learned nothing from this video. You disconnect the battery first and you reconnect the battery last. Rule of thumb. LVS connector is connected. And now we're going to connect the battery right here. And assuming the battery has a charge, I see right there. Wow, quick. We got it. We got it. Laptop is fixed. It's not going to turn on again because the battery is drained. But we can plug in the charging cable. If we plug in the charging cable and we power on again. Okay. Right there. Awesome. We did it. The job is done. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video. Awesome.